अब यात्रा होने सा अमेरु अमेरिका को नेगरा पॉल मा जुंगा मचा रहे रा सब इधर नाले रेन कोट पुन लाइस के अमेरु माथी पे माथी वाला माथी वाला एलिवेटर मार रहा ताला से मार रहा ऐसे अमेरु अब रेडी हो जुंगा जान दे सा अमेरु नेगरा पॉल वाटर पॉल चौमा ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ जुंगा गए जुंगा Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard the all-new, all-electric Maid of the Mist. For your safety, life jackets and printed instructions on how to wear them are stored and displayed in various locations uh, throughout the vessel. We like. encourage you to take a few moments to find the closest I location to you and review the instructions. Yeah, also, okay. for your own safety, please yeah. keep your hands and feet inside the boat at all times. Please refrain from standing on the seats or the metal boxes on the deck of the boat. Please keep youngsters off all railings. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to speak to one of our crew members. Can you see it? Many of the missed up. boats have been sailing the border between the two friendly nations of the United States and Canada since 1846. The first made of the missed vessel was a twin stack coal fired steamboat. In 1885, our boats evolved to single stack steamboats that ventured closer to the Horseshoe Falls than any boat ever had before. In 1955, the first modern Made of the Mist boat entered the river, made of steel and powered by twin diesel engines. We appreciate and enjoy the beauty of this natural world just as much as our thousands of yearly visitors. And we know we have a responsibility to help protect it. That's why we created two of North America's first newly built all-electric vessels. These zero-emission boats offer an experience that is undisturbed by engine noise, vibration, or exhaust fumes, and are unlike any others that journey to the heart of the Niagara Falls. Can you see it? Someone drop that. If you look to your left, you'll see the American Falls. It is 180 feet high, or about 55 meters. 12,000 years ago, the falls were 7 miles, or about 11 kilometers downriver at Lewiston. You see them now at their present location because of erosion. This happens at a rate of approximately 6 feet, or 2 meters a year. Most of the rock at the base of the falls fell during two spectacular rock slides in 1931 and 1954. The small falls to the right of the American Falls is called the Bridal Veil. The walkway at its foot leads to the Cave of the Winds. Separating the American Falls from the Canadian Falls is Goat Island. Our all-new, all-electric vessels utilize a state-of-the-art propulsion system, which includes thrusters in each hull. These eliminate the need for rudders, providing excellent maneuverability in all situations, allowing the boats to rotate 360 degrees horizontally. Huh? 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 Come here! These new boats are yeah. the most 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 the the most the most the most the most the most the the most 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 the the most the most the the most the most the Changing our lives. Okay, go, go over there, the near Kunsan. Go, go to near Kunsan. 
Britain joined the company in 1950 as a picket sum. Huh? During his tenure, Major Domestic wait. expanded operations, achieving tenfold growth. In 2020, in his 70th year with the Mate of the Mist, the company announced the naming of the vessel James B. Flynn in its honor. Can you see it or not? Yeah, Kunsa! Tell I want to come next to you. No, you're a loser. Yeah, We are now approaching the Canadian or Horseshoe Falls. It is approximately 170 feet high or 52 meters. Its brink is 2,500 feet long or 760 meters. Here, daredevils have made their bid for fame. The first, in 1901, was a school teacher named Annie Taylor. Annie was 63 years old when she went into the falls in a wooden barrel. And I'm sure they're going to take a lot of In 1960, an almost unbelievable event occurred. A seven-year-old boy named Roger Woodward was swept over the falls, wearing only a bathing suit and a simple life jacket. It was a miracle that he survived. Roger was rescued almost at this exact spot by a mate of the mist boat. Hey, John, we're going to go to the close to the other river. Wait. Mm -hmm. huh? To the far left of the Horseshoe Falls is Terrapin Point, where the international borderline between the United States and Canada lies. Beneath us, the water plunges to a depth of 180 feet, or 55 meters. We the water that flows over yeah. the falls comes from four of the we five great lakes. Up. From here, the water goes yeah. down the Niagara River, into Lake Ontario, into the St. Lawrence River, and finally to the Atlantic Ocean. As we approach this iconic moment, we once again remind you that for your own safety, please keep hands and feet inside the boat and do not stand on the seats or the metal boxes on the deck. Please keep youngsters off all rounds. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Niagara Falls. Sign in the video. Where are you? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come here. What do you want to say? Come here, you can hold him. Achoo! <laughs> Come here, It's okay, it's holding. I'm here. Take it, Patari. Yeah, I'm Hopefully, it's still working. I don't want to drop my phone. <laughs> We're going a little more. Look, look at the waterfall.
This leading edge technology is being employed in this context in the United States for the very first time. No small feat in maritime transportation. The lithium ion batteries are charged between every time.